Welcome to the Ask Dr. Deanna Show. I'm Dr. Deanna Holdren, your host. Join me weekly as I cover various health-related lifestyle medicine topics that you get to request. This show is for anyone who wants to proactively improve their health position. I hope you enjoy the show. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am excited to bring you part two of our supplement protocol series. In part two, we're going to talk a little bit about inflammation. Guys, last week I went over uh, functional nutrients, our foundational nutrients, uh, basically the nutrients that you um, you know, might want to check out that you might want to add in if you're not currently taking those. And then today we're going to talk about a specific protocol that I like to use, some of the recommendations that I make to my patients uh, to help with inflammation. Okay, so in traditional medicine, a lot of the anti-inflammatories that we use are problematic, and they're problematic because they can really disrupt the gut. They can cause a lot of problems. They can actually cause some irritation, which is inflammation in the gut. And so from that, and then they can be hard on the kidneys, sometimes hard on the liver as well. So we just prefer to avoid those if at all possible. Now, there's some times that maybe you can't uh, avoid them or whatever, but for the most part, I'm going to talk about just kind of chronic Um, you know, inflammation that is within the body. Um, There is a blood test that you can do. There's something called a C-reactive protein. There's something called an an HS or a highly sensitive C-reactive protein. And that is an inflammatory marker as well as a SED rate. And those actually, the CRP um, can be a marker that can kind of indicate, you know, even things like cardiac inflammation, cardiac disease. So, So when we talk about inflammation, it's not just inflammation in the joint, Um, you know, arthritis, that sort of inflammation, but also inflammation can happen in the lungs. That's called asthma. Inflammation can happen in the gut. That's a lot of times called dysbiosis. Sometimes it's called gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, Inflammation uh, can happen in the brain, um, which can be, um, you know, again, you know, can cause some headaches, um, can contribute to dementia. uh, And then, of course, heart disease as well, inflammation. So anything we can do to decrease inflammation in the body is going to be a win. And I once heard a functional medicine uh, cardiologist who um, I think is really, really great. Dr. Mark Houston, he has um, written several functional med uh, textbooks uh, out there that you can go and take a look at. So he focuses on cardiology. He's over at Vanderbilt in Nashville, Tennessee. But anyway, one of the things that he said that just made so much sense to me, and that was that if you treat the blood vessel, you're really treating the entire body, every single bit of it, because you're, you're treating this blood vessel and trying to drive down inflammation to help with things like high blood pressure and other issues that you might see. And that basically by doing that, you're also treating all these other conditions. And I love that. When you look at what drives disease, you know, in in our bodies, inflammation is one of the factors that does in fact drive disease. So it's important to take a look at. So we're going to dive right in, talk about the supplements that I recommend when somebody comes in and they are inflamed. Okay. I'm going to start with joint inflammation because, again, I know that what I'm using there is going to help in other areas, too. So for joint inflammation, I typically will go after high-dose omega-3s. By high-dose omega-3, I mean at least 1,000 milligrams twice a day of an omega-3, a good quality omega-3 essential fatty acid. And you guys know that I like um, ortho-omega. Uh, which is made by Orthomolecular. Um, that's a great product. It's available on our full script site as well as on the DeannaHoldren.com website. Uh, but that is a great one. That's what I take. I take one capsule twice a day because again, it helps to drive down the inflammation. In the last session, okay, the last uh, uh, episode that, that I did, I talked more about that inflammation and how, you know, omega threes will drive down or pull down inflammation uh, in the joint. It'll help, you know, all the things that it does in terms of the brain uh, and the benefits that you have there. So it's absolutely incredible. And it is definitely, uh, you know, in my mind, a non-negotiable for somebody who's, who's experiencing some joint pain. Vitamin D is really, really important. I've actually had uh, runners who, uh, you know, ran outside all summer long, they felt great. And then when they have to come inside on their treadmill, I'm talking about marathon runners, they're, you know, they're putting in some hours here. What I found is that they come inside, they start on the treadmill, and then all of a sudden they're developing joint pain. 
Maybe they're getting some gelling uh, in their elbows, um, you know, as they're, you know, running and keeping them in that position. And so many times it's related to the low vitamin D level. When they came inside, they actually dropped their vitamin D. And so now they're deficient in vitamin D and it's showing up with joint pain. So that becomes foundational. Next is turmeric. I can't tell you how many times a day I recommend turmeric to my patients. And you can use turmeric in your food, but you can also get turmeric capsules, a a good quality turmeric supplement uh, that can make a difference. And turmeric is anti-inflammatory to the joint. Uh, It is also fantastic for the gut. Um, It actually ends up being a great prebiotic for your probiotics uh, in your gut. So turmeric is a big part of that. Vitamin C is on the list as well. And you guys, the thing you need to know is as you listen to what I'm listing out here for joint pain, uh, for arthritis type pain, there are a lot of products out there that will have these, these sup, these individual ingredients wrapped into one supplement. Okay. So orthomolecular makes one called Trameric. Okay. It's turmeric. It's got bromelain in it. Um, and it's got some other rutin in it that all help to reduce Uh, inflammation in the joint. So going through our list, we've got turmeric, we've got vitamin C, we've got quercetin. Um, Quercetin, or sometimes called quercetin, um, is a supplement that is just wonderful. And we have seen it really hit the stage in a big way uh, over the past couple of years, as we have seen some in, some you know people utilizing that to help boost the immune system and protect themselves um, over you know the through the pandemic and so forth. So quercetin has been important. Bromelain, which is a, an extract that comes out of pineapple and things in the pineapple family, um, is also anti-inflammatory. And we've known this for a very long time and have been able to use this to help people with joint pain. There's also something called MSM um, that, um, that that basically can reduce uh, joint pain as well. And again, that one's not for everybody. I always say, you know, go with a functional medicine uh, provider, ask them about that. Uh, but for some people, if they are low in that, that will make a difference and can help them. Uh, and then, of course, we've got glucosamine and chondroitin. Uh, glucosamine and chondroitin have been around for quite some time and, again, can make a big difference in over, overall joint pain and how the joints are feeling. Um, on top of that, I like to add in whenever I'm you know, dealing with any kind of joint pain, uh, I like to talk about collagen. And um, you know, there are collagens out there uh, that you can add you know, to a, for example, to a protein shake uh, that can make a difference. There are uh, collagens that basically have hyaluronic acid. Uh, There are plant-based collagens as well uh, that that can make a difference in the joints and how, you know, the, the functioning of that joint just by helping to build that collagen back. So it's not just about getting rid of the inflammation, but it's also we want to build some things back and have good, healthy collagen going on, which shows up everywhere. And then finally, on the inflammation, I've also included SAMe again. Um, This is one that I always say, you know, check with your physician on uh, as well. But but I also like to include the gut because inflammation is such a huge deal throughout the whole body. And I'm telling you, like my patients who come in who have fibromyalgia, which is an inflammation. It's kind of an inflammation throughout the fat, throughout the muscles in the body. Um, Inevitably, if I can get them to do intermittent fasting, okay, get a good fast on, if I can get them to eliminate sugar, if I can get them to eliminate all of the, you know, simple carbs, especially, and all processed foods, you know, man, they feel so much better. And one of the things that I believe is happening is when you eliminate those things, you are taking the burden off of the gut. You're taking that burden off of the gut. So gut does play into inflammation, but it's not just that you're taking the burden off of the gut so that it's not inflamed. It's that when you take that inflammation away from the gut, the gut lining can heal up. That's where those omega-3s come into play uh, to help basically seal up those tight junctions that occur within the lining of the GI system and, you know, not only decrease inflammation, but help with a nice tight barrier so that you don't have all of these processed food chemicals that people are eating passing through the GI system, through that membrane 
out into the bloodstream, you know, causing circulating uh, inflammatory markers. That's where you get, you know, elevation of all the inflammatory markers and, and just a lot of pain. So, you know, a lot of people are suffering with joint pain and in, in, in large part, if they basically change the diet, make these tweaks, add in some supplements, you know, many of them, I, I would go as far as to say the majority of people who actually do that will see a dramatic improvement in their pain and they'll lose some weight along the way as well. So, you know, that's fantastic if they've got some weight to lose. So, um, I, I think I mentioned earlier, um, orthomolecular has a product called turmeric. It's a blend, um, of ingredients that, that help with the joint inflammation. But the thing that I love about this is that this targets total body inflammation as well. What I've talked about here, it's not just about the joints. Um, it also helps with the brain. It helps, you know, with the lungs. Um, we, you know, have pulmonologists now who do recommend, vitamin D for their patients with asthma, their patients with COPD, because it helps reduce inflammation. It also helps to, to boost their immune system uh, so that they're not getting sick as often. And so overall, when you do this, when you're treating you know, the joint or you're treating the blood vessel to try to lower blood pressure, you're making a total body difference. And so that's what I love about this. So I hope this has been helpful. And um, I hope that you'll plug in next week. We are going to talk uh, about foundational nutrients that I recommend uh, to my patients for uh, insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. Uh, and then we've got some other protocols that will come behind that as well. So thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that episode. For more information, visit me at DeannaHoldren.com. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Deanna Holdren. I really want to hear from you, so message me. I love taking your messages and creating topics from them. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share my show with those who have an interest in health and wellness. Thank you for tuning in and see you next week.